Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Shiva Early, a craft doctor, and I'm here with a uh, craft stash haul. Um, I'm not sure if you remember, I told you that I was purchasing um, this midi from craft stash because everywhere that I looked, they didn't have it. Um, and I purchased it from HSN and they sent me the mini and not the midi and then they are out of stock. So, um, yeah. So I went to craft stash and I got this machine and I got this, uh, die set that I have been wanting for a year now. Um, and so I purchased that along with it. So let me open and this so we can see what it came with because I don't even know if it comes with anything I did buy the die cutting things the plate things they're not plates they're uh, folders from Michaels because they had them on sale the the folders are on sale at Michaels and the 20% off so I got two four packs four two packs excuse me four two packs or five something like that and the reason why i bought this machine is not because i needed it and it looks like it doesn't come with anything but the plastic folder and the purple shim and i think the shim you use the shim for embossing folders or something i'm not really sure um i got this because when i go to scrapbooking events or when i go to places to scrapbook a card maker or whatever I don't like to take my electric machine my impress which is right here see that is right there I don't like to take it with me because first of all I have to dismantle and do all the things to that it to get it a little loose um, from being on the base because it's on a swivel sorry my, I shouldn't have moved that camera because my swivel is there you go um, and then I have to unplug the plug and do all the things. And, yeah, it's annoying. Sorry about this camera movement. But, you know, when you move it the, and you can't ever get it back, be the problem. Okay, so I decided to buy this one because I do have the diamond press. You, I, you know I have all the machines. It's ridiculous. I have the diamond press one, but it doesn't fit Anna Griffin bigger dies. And so I wanted something portable that would fit the Anna Griffin. And so that's why I bought the MIDI machine. So when I'm just doing a quick overnight one or I'm going to the scrapbooking store up the street, I have one that's small and I don't have to worry about electricity when I'm using it. So that's the only reason why I bought this machine. Um, and it was on sale <laughs> too. Glad it was on sale. Because sometimes I, I get tired of hearing the noise, even though it's quicker sometimes. Sometimes this is, can be quicker doing it this way than letting it feed out that machine. Um, so, mostly everybody have seen the MIDI. It's just like the Mini. Um, it's just like the Gemini regular machine. Um, the length, I think. I think it's still 6x9. I think it's the same. I'm not sure. I don't have the Mini. I have the Gemini big machine and it's sitting over in the corner because once I got the Anna Griffin one, I stopped using it. So I really need to sell that one because I don't use it. Um, I keep these machines for when I do craft events and I do round robins. Every station will have their own machine, be it electric or not, so that I don't have to not have a machine for every station when somebody is working at a station. Okay, so then it this tells you how to use it. It tells you the plastic folder. Um, you just put it in there, and that's the sandwich. 3D folder, you just use the 3D folder if you have one, which I do have one that I tried to use the other day, and I'm going to see if it'll work in here. And then if you have a regular uh, embossing folder, you use the purple shim. That's what these, the directions is telling you. That's it. Um, uh, that's, that's really all it is because the rest of it is just different languages. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see if this machine will do this 3D embossing folder that I have been trying to get to work out for me. 
And of course, it'll be the first time I cannot find it when I need it. this 3d embossing folder I've been trying to get this 3d embossing folder to work in everything and it won't so let's see if it'll work in here uh, I'm just getting some crafters companion paper and let's put it in this way would this folder fit in? Oh, no. It doesn't fit in that way. You have to put it in the right way. So then, let me just cut this paper down. Okay, I'm just going to cut this down to four and a quarter. Okay, because I really want to see if this is going to really work. 3D embossing folders. Okay. Nope. It's supposed to fit 3D embossing folders. If this machine broke, it won't even... regular folder nope the problem is this 3d embossing folder is too it's too big I mean it's too thick for and I don't even know what this is Sizzix so I might probably have to put it in the platinum six um, because it won't fit it won't it won't work in anything else <sighs> okay so this is my midi and then um, the die set that I bought, I'll be all over the place, y'all. The die set is, hee hee. It really sticks to this glass mat. This is the die set that I bought. It is the six by six flower box card die. This is the one I have been wanting because I love to do like flower designs because I really believe that you should give people flowers while they live. And if I can make some flower designs with this, I will. And I, I really wanted this when I seen the demo. And so you have all of the dies to make the boxes, um, to make the box flower box and all its components pieces and one thing that I love about craft stash they don't they don't skimp on the die sets that they put in their boxes or in their stuff they, they don't they don't play they give you what you need they give you the decorative dies to go with it because <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken the only one you need to make the box is this one this is the only two pieces that you need to make the box. But the rest of these are matte layers. These might be the ones that you stick on the inside to hold the flowers. That's what these are for. But I mean like this type of stuff. These are matte layers. So once you cut your box out, you can mat it and make it look beautiful. And so they don't skimp on giving you the, the good stuff. Look at all of these labels, all of these different tags and labels and stuff that you can use. So let me pick out to make the box right quick. You, you use this piece, you use this big, this piece here, and you use, I think, both of these to make the box. And then it has a, a top. I think this is the top piece that goes here so let me cut all these out and I'll be right back you know what I decided to um, get a piece of paper but 
show y'all the actual cutting it out. Um, you know what? Let's see. I don't know if this Gemini, no, it's too short. I was going to say I could put it on here, but I can't. Um, so I'm using this Anna Griffin paper that I showed you in a previous. It's the one, the Fancy Foil Celebration. This is the one that she sent the veterans, um, all veterans, um, after Create 8. And so I'm going to use this paper to make the frame of the box. Because I'm not going to actually build the, the whole design. I just really want to see how these dies work. I really wanted to see how this Gemini was going to do, but I can't because it don't fit. Um, let me see. Does it fit this piece? Yeah, it'll fit that piece. So then let's take this piece. Would it fit this way? Nope, we got to go this way. At least we'll, we can test it out with one piece. Okay, let's cut this down a little bit. And let's run this through the Gemini. So at least we can see it in action. Ugh, I gotta sit in my chair. Okay. The one thing I do like is I don't have to hold it down that much because it's it's on my um it's sticking to my glass mat it's very smooth i can tell you that come on out there we go i should have turned it a little bit when you have a car a uh, dies that have like straight edges try to turn your die just a little slight so the rollers won't won't hit that and make it boop like it just did but this cut it out perfectly. Not that I didn't think it would, but it, it cut it out perfectly. Okay. So, that's the top part. This piece will not fit in the Gemini. Um, I'm going to tape this down. Because it's too long, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it in here. I'm just taping it down so it won't move when I do this. Because sometimes, you know, they say you, you can't cut smaller dies because, um, I mean, bigger dies in smaller machines. But you can by doing it this way. And I'm about to show you how. So you take this and I'm going to just put this in here. Right? up to this piece this is where it's not going to be cut i'm going to the key is keeping it stable okay so now that part is cut now i got to keep this part stable and then i'm going to just turn it and place this part in there Okay, and then I'm going to cut this. The key is to keeping it in the same spot. And I'm going to stop right there and then I'm going to back it up. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I don't want to go over what I've already cut just in case it's not in the same spot because I didn't have tape all the way around it. Since I didn't have tape all the way around it and it wasn't completely stable, I didn't want to make a mistake and not and, and cut it twice, right? Okay, and you can see the folder. It warped a little bit, but not much. But you can expect that. But you see... Take this right off. I love Anna Griffin paper.
and there we have it so i was able to use a smaller die machine to cut this long piece right there love it love it love it okay so to put this box together it's super super easy but we also need to be to do what to accomplish what we need to do we need these two pieces and so this one will be able to cut off here and that one will be able to be cut out of that piece okay so let's bring our machine back in and this is the those interworking pieces that you put your um flowers on to yeah come on go perfectly cut out and then the last piece I'll put in here see how I was talking about at a slant it's always good if you can get those pieces to get in at a slant so you're not the rollers are hitting them not straight on Okay, so let's get this box together. I'm not going to cut out the flowers because all it really is is just basically stamping the flowers. <coughs> excuse me. And oh, here we go. stamping the flowers and putting them inside of the box. I just really wanted to show you how to put the box together and all the pieces. And it did come with words. But just look at all of these dots. If you have never shopped with Card Making Magic, go look at her um, YouTube site. And these come from Craft Stash. Uh, you will love it. And you, if you buy these dies, a lot of times you don't have to buy much else because they always have so much and so many. And you mix and match. I have quite a few of, of uh, Card Making Magic's stuff. Five by seven boxes, six by six boxes, a two boxes, like designs, all kinds of designs. Fabulous. I love their products. Okay, so got them back in. This oops, lost one. I was hoping I wasn't gonna forget one. Okay. This is the words dice that go with it. And these are all the flowers that you can put it in there. She has a great video on the six by six box and they have this in stock. I literally just got this yesterday. Okay, so these are the pieces that I cut out to make this box card of flowers, right? The thing that you have to know about these dies is that they do have um, score marks to them. So you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. Let's bring you a little bit closer. See, they do have score marks right in them. So, and the score, the score is really easy. Like, you don't even have to do any over um, securing of them. They cut out really well. So see that really well. This paper is a lot thinner than probably a box card should be. But with the matte layers, it builds it up and makes it really strong. Okay. So then these pieces are the ones that go on the inner side of this. They go inside. So they go in, in here. And so you put them where you want them to go, okay? And then this is the back piece that this is attached to. And so this is how you make it. Now, you can make one of these boxes, box cards without these dies. I'm not saying go buy them because of that. I'm saying I bought them because of that. I don't have to do that. Because you could just make this is for this size box eight eight by five and a quarter eight by five and a quarter is this sheet 
and then you just have to get the measurements to make sure that it works for this okay but i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna put this together because this is um texture paper um i'm going to use wet glue now you can put this on two ways you can either put it on like this where you're sitting this on the inside and this is back here and so you don't see it on the inside or you can put it on like this and you won't see it on the inside either if you put a sheet on the inside like if you matte layer this you don't see it i prefer it back in the back because you can also matte layer the back there's a piece that you can matte layer for writing or covering up i would i want it in the back because i think it'll be more stable that way plus i will put a piece back in the back that would cover this up so then all you're gonna do is you're gonna put some glue here and some glue here okay and line this piece up right at the score line and lay this down just like that okay and then all you got to do if you do it correctly generally anytime you have something that has matching sides if you do it correctly and you lay it down you almost can do it on the other side straight across there we go. Okay. And so you see this can lay down either way. It can lay down either way. So when you have your flowers in there, you can lay it down. Wait. Oh, I'm glad this I should have moved it. It wasn't glued all the way down. Mm -hmm. let me put some more glue i moved it too quickly you know what i usually do is with stuff like this is i usually add some tape first and then add the glue so you got both of them you got that double strength but don't do what i just did moving it too quickly and it ain't ready because it butts right up against there so you don't have to worry about it see it butts right against that score line just don't move it too quickly okay so there you go it's right in there and it stands up and your flowers will go right in here okay and then these pieces you put them kind of wherever you want you put them in here so that your flowers can be on there so you can use the large piece or the short piece i would use the large piece in the back so i'm gonna just put some glue right here and some glue right here and i'm gonna put the large piece in the back And I'm just going to fold it down and press. Can you see that? How it just stays right in the place. It'll stay right in the place where you put it. Okay. So now you just stick your flowers up from it or whatever because you don't have to use just flowers just think about it you have characters you if you have um design santa claus um snowmen and you want to do a design 
you can use this for that too. And then this one can go right in there. You can make this one lower or higher or however you want. I would put this one a little bit lower only because I wouldn't want it to show right here. But you just butt this up against that one, that piece. So it gives you an extra step layer. I'm going to try to put it in there without gluing so you can see it. Okay, I'll just glue it. Okay. And I'll put it in from the bottom. And I'm just putting it right, if you can, oh, you can't see that, I'm sorry, right in front of the other piece. See, they're touching. Or nearly touching. Yeah, they're touching. See the brackets in there. Okay, and I'm just pressing, I'm just pressing it down so it can adhere here. I'm gonna flip this one over, press it down so it can adhere here, and it's in there as you can see. So now it has two places where you can put your flowers onto this one and this one. And then it lays down to mail. Generally, they tell you when you have stuff like this to make sure that you choose a side. Don't do it on both sides. Choose a side where you want it to lay. So then you can smooth it out. I'm not going to smooth this one out completely, like burnish completely, because I need to put the flowers in here. But that's what this box looks like. It's super cute, and it's card making magic. And then you also see how the Gemini Midi works. This is going to be beautiful. Um, I have so many flowers to color that I'm just not trying to color stuff right now. I'm trying to figure out ways to get around all this coloring without doing it, but I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> um, all right, y'all. I just wanted to show you what I got in my latest um, haul video. I'll be working on the um, Throwback Thursday. My new thing that I'll be doing every Thursday will be uh, an old... Um, something old that I have because I have so much stuff and it's just too much to try to figure out what I'm going to do next. So I'm just going to do some throwback Thursday videos, but I'll be back in a couple of days with another video. All right. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see y'all in the next one.